Let me just say welcome everyone to our master class on intuition. I am your co-host Alkistis and today you will learn about how to listen to your own intuition and we will do a demonstration. Thank you so much Patricia. I'm so happy to be here. I want to introduce you to my friends. Patricia is a gifted relationship coach and energy healer based in Lugano, Switzerland. Very briefly, will you please tell us, Alkisis, about you, how you became a visionary, an oracle, a philosopher? Okay, well, so growing up, um, I had visions of Athena. The goddess Athena came to me in my dreams from a very little girl from eight, nine years old, I remember her. And she visited me in her dreams and offered me advice and consolation when I needed it. Later on, at about 16 years old, I had a deep transcendental experience when I visited Delphi, the place in Greece uh, where they had the ancient oracle. And this experience transformed my vision. I could see many things that I could not see before through that experience, which may have been for five minutes maximum, but it just transformed the way I saw things. And later on, I studied philosophy just uh, to have a professional background. Now, very briefly, will you please tell us something important? I mean, like... Uh, the main guidelines mm -hmm. about the history of Greek oracles. Okay, so ever since very ancient times in Greece and in Egypt, um, we had uh, priestesses, women who ran temples uh, dedicated to channeling information from other dimensions. Usually the one priestess was the oracle in a, a going into a trance and then the other priestess would be translating the messages that's right we're going to recreate such an experience for you today patricia so we're going to begin shortly uh, our session to connect to a higher consciousness uh, cosmic wisdom that's available to everybody um, so you are not going to be passive, you're going to be active entering the meditative state together with Patricia and I. And this is what we will begin with. We will begin with guiding you into a relaxed state so that you too can be open to receiving a message and as I'm speaking um, to see how it is a message for you personally. Dear lover of wisdom, we all came into this world in a blissful state. We were compassionate, curious, connected, confident, courageous, and creative beings with all our heavenly gifts. When trauma happens, it threatens the integrity of our beautiful self. These traumas feel so terrible that we vow never to remember or re-experience them again. We actively drive them away from our minds and push them down so that they may not be triggered again. Some therapists refer to these parts of us that we push down as exiles. During these traumatic events, everything about that moment is trapped in time. This includes our body reactions, emotions, actions, and urges, and what we believe about ourselves. And even though we have vowed never to remember these exiles, they continue to call on us to return to them, to release their burdens and bring them into the present moment with us. 
As traumas multiply and magnify, the self gets overwhelmed. To manage this on our own is a very difficult task. In order to manage our complicated lives, we keep our trauma experiences pushed down and we begin to recruit and develop parts to protect us. That part, you have to find it and free it. Mm. This is the key to solving your problem today. So if you like, we can slowly return to ordinary consciousness. It is time to return. And on the count of three, I will ring a bell and you will return to that state. Right. So one, two, three. Uno, due, tre. Welcome back, everyone. Let's just stretch a little. Come back to yourself. Stretch. Ah. So Patricia is just going to say a few words um, to translate a little and to interpret some things for you. So I want you to imagine, says Patricia, that if you had like a magic wand in your hands, so just imagine that this magic wand can transport you to one year into the future. So just imagine that you are again with this group one year from now, seated as you are seated in, the, in a Zoom call like this one. Imagine that these problems that you came here with today were resolved, they were solved. Any problems that you had with health, any problems that you had with your work or profession, uh, the problems that you may be having in your relationships, whatever type of problem you may have, were somehow resolved during this one year. Just bring your hands again to your heart and just take, imagine you're thanking now this inner child that you have liberated. And just say now, just take a moment to thank this child. This, just say it out loud. Thank you. I am so grateful. I am so happy. Just say it out loud right now. Speak to that inner child. Just visualize this happy child in front of you who is free. And you are just thanking this child, uh, f being very grateful and saying thank you. And, and the child is thanking you also. You are hugging your child and just celebrating together your success. Just say to the child, thank you for showing me how I had neglected you, how I had forgotten you, and how I had hidden you and exiled you. And you just feel the gratitude of the child back to you. And he says, I'm thanking you for freeing me. So it's a beautiful, loving experience. Just experience that warm hug right now. You can actually hug your body as you hug your inner child. Just hug your body tight and know that the child, just squeeze, squeeze your body actually now. Squeeze your, your body. Together you've done it. Just imagine yourself walking along the beach with this child enjoying the beautiful freedom of the seashore. Silence. It happened easily. This is the beauty. Ease and silence. I love that image with a wave clearing the old. Right. It's as easy as you make it. So we imagine that we are a year in the future and everything has been resolved. Look around. What's different in your life? Just look around and see what parts of your life have changed. Go through every section of your life. What has transformed? Who are you with? Who are you enjoying your life with? What, if you, if you don't know the name, just look at the, the, feel the vibration of the people or the person. 
Where are you working from? Where are you living? Just feel what has changed. How do you feel different as a person? You feel different, very different. You're like a, a snake that has shed the skin and really you are your whole self again, your whole original self. So just take a moment to be grateful for these changes. And just repeat to yourself, I am so deeply grateful and happy that, and fill in the, the change that you see. I'm so grateful and happy that, just say it out loud. And just align with that feeling, that vibrational feeling. So now perhaps we can um, get some some of our participants yeah. to share. Fantastic. Great. We've all done a lot of work. I'm sure even those who haven't lifted their hands have had a shift in their energy. So I want to thank you all for um, coming. I send you all my love from Greece. Arrivederci. Grazie. 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 Grazie.